Oh, hi guys. Thanks for joining me today. Let me get the seat here. My name is Vicki, amputee me. I am a right above knee amputee after being amputated twice. Um, if I can get you to go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button on the bottom, I would greatly appreciate it. It would help my channel grow. And I still have my GoFundMe page up. The link will be on the bottom to help me pay for my socket, which I should be receiving next Thursday. And my husband's going to go with me this time. He went with me the first time for when I got the socket here I'm wearing today. Um, and he went with me almost every time I went. But it was only like a mile down the road from his work. And where I'm going now is like an hour away from his work. So, but he has taken the day off and going with me Thursday. So hopefully he'll get some video. And I'll have some video of me getting my new socket. Um, what I wanted to talk about today has to do with people making comments that I talk too much in my videos. That's what my video is about, is me talking, reliving my experiences as an amputee, showing you when I can things with the amputee. It's my journey as an amputee. I'm sure some of you are out there and are experiencing the same journey as an amputee. Now I have watched um, some amputee videos on YouTube. They are all awesome, but most of the people are younger people. I obviously am not. I'm an older person. And shortly after getting their um, prosthetic leg, they're up and running. They're running marathons. They're doing yoga. They're rock climbing. They're hiking. Not me. And I'm sure there's more of you out there like me. Um, the whole thing has been a struggle. It's hard. It's hard to go to the doctor or be in the hospital after a devastating injury or a disease like I have peripheral artery disease and finding out that yes they can do surgery after surgery after surgery but the end goal is always the same it's always amputation and I for one didn't want to go the rest of my life laying in bed crying about the pain or being confined to a wheelchair I want to back up my two feet I have grandkids to enjoy I have long walks to enjoy. I have a lot more left of my life. And um, there are those of you that have been faced with a decision on whether or not to have the amputation. And making that decision is very, very hard. It's very, very difficult. It's not easy. And you have to throw the pros and the cons out there. And your injury or your disease is so well form that um, you have no other choice if you don't want to be in a wheelchair or in a bed the rest of your life and you want to go on living your life and you can go on living your life but it's not easy it's not easy going and hearing what your doctor has to say that they recommend an amputation I heard it I heard it from three or four doctors um, before I seriously considered doing it and I had relatives that um, didn't understand and wanted to fight me over it and try to convince me not to have the amputation but they seriously didn't know what I was going through they had never been in that and they some of them had come to the agreement that they understood my reason to get an amputation and those of you that are making the decision to get an amputation, I understand how hard it is. I understand how difficult it is to recover. Not everybody can jump right out of bed and be fitted for a new prosthetic leg and be up and running in no time. Um, there is also the recovery. The recovery can be long and hard for some of us. And some of us 
have issues like not healing or get infections and that extends how long the recovery is and how long it is before you get a prosthetic leg. If you have those issues going on, they will not fit you for a prosthetic leg. You must be completely healed. So it's not as easy as some of these videos try to make it seem because the whole struggle is hard. Like I said, the, the recovery itself can be long and hard if you're healing or if you're not healing and you have an infection, that just extends time and it can be very discouraging and very disappointing, but you gotta hang in there. Sure, it may take a little bit longer. Not everybody is the same. And these young amputees, they heal quickly. They recover quickly. They were, some of them were athletic before this even started. I have never wanted to run. Even when I had my own legs, I hated running. And now I have people asking me, oh, so now you're gonna start running and joining marathons and stuff? Nope, not me. I had no intentions to ever do it. The only running I wanna do is running after my grandkids. Okay, so there can be setbacks. Like I said, infection, your failure to heal. You may need another amputation. There are a lot of people out there that have had their legs amputated more than once because of infection or gangrene or just not healing. And it can be discouraging. I got my first amputation last Friday, June 25th, was the second anniversary of my first amputation. And that was a long, discouraging nine months before I said, go ahead and do the second. I mean, I was told all along, go above knee, not below knee, but I was told there may be a chance I could save it. And so I took that maybe a chance and no, there wasn't a chance. So don't be discouraged in your journey as an amputee. So you may have to wait a little bit longer. You may not be healing. You may have infections. Just stick it out, give it your best, have faith, and believe in yourself. You will get there. Now, once you are fitted with a prosthetic device, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to take off and go walking. I seriously thought that when I was first fitted for the device and had it on, when I had the test leg, that, you know, I've been walking all my life. I got this. Nope. You do not have this. You do not have your own knee or your own ankle, your own foot. You don't have feeling down there to know what your leg is doing. You don't have your own muscles down there. So you don't have this. It's not as easy as they make it seem. And still, I've had this month, the end of this month, I've had this leg for a year. My gait's all wrong. The stuff I was taught in um, PT wasn't right. I'm learning. Right now, I'm learning different stuff to do, different techniques to improve my gait. And because I walk, like my prosthetic guy said last week when I visited him, I walk like an old lady with a very bad back problem. And I'm telling you, this prosthetic leg and the way I'm walking is giving me a lower back problem. I never had a lower back problem before. So don't be discouraged. Like I said, I walk very bad. I, I have a bad limp. I'm trying to cure that right now. It's still hard to do on the socket that I have right now because it causes me pain when I walk on it. Um, I have tried the check socket on it fit wonderfully it was so comfortable i walked back and forth i walked more smoothly using the steps that my prosthetic guy gave me um i can't wait to get it seriously and um you know don't be discouraged because you are taking longer to heal don't be discouraged if you don't get the walking thing when you first get your prosthetic leg I still am wobbly. I still 
almost every step. You have to think about every step. It just doesn't come naturally anymore. I sit there and watch my one-year-old grandson running around the house, and I'm looking at him thinking, boy, he's only one years old, and he walks better than I do. You know, that's a shame, but I will get there. I ventured outside for the first time at my daughter's house and did a little bit of walking there without a cane. I don't go outside without a cane, but I have to push my limits at times. That was very fearful. That was frightening. I thought for sure I was going to fall because I didn't have my cane to lean on. And no, I did pretty good. I tire out easy. Um, so just remember you guys, have faith in yourself. You got this. Don't be discouraged. Remember to keep pressing forward and you will get to where you want to be. All right, guys, that's all for today. I'm hoping that next week I'll have video of me receiving my socket, my final socket, and, um, and me walking on it. And that'll be next week because my appointment is July 6th. And just stick in there. Don't forget to do the like and the subscribe down at the button. Please subscribe. Get your friends to subscribe. Everybody to subscribe. I want to get those viewers up there and my subscribers up there. Alright guys. Thank you for watching my channel. Remember, you got this. Until next time, bye-bye.